Hi guys, it's Minion with a shotgun here. I am doing an unboxing for the Final Fantasy game that came out today. Um, I don't really do unboxings. And I'm just prepared for two a little bit, so. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what I got today. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing for people that don't have it. And there's not much in it because it's just a smaller box, so. I already took the wrapping off it because um, I suck at unwrapping stuff. So. We have the game. It's very beautiful looking. I saw the um, previews for it for the Japanese version. It was already out before the English and it looks so good. I was like, oh my god. So I need it. I need it to have it. And you get, um, if you have the Lightning Returns game, you get um, Yuna's Summoner Garb or Magic for the for the games you need to buy it. It's, it's really handy because they're really expensive on PSN. Oh, I, that's, that's it by the way. It's a lovely box though, it's really gorgeous. Um, get the art book. It's just a small little art book for 10 and 10 to. It it's there's a, a note from the producer. I'll take a picture of it and uh, post it up on Tumblr so you can read it. It's nice. Okay, so here we go. Sorry, no, my my webcam's really shit. Bear with me. And the summons Shiva, Yamato, and. I love Shiva, Shiva's like one of my favorites. She's just so badass. Oh. I'll just I'll skip to the more summons. Anime anime and it's basically just I can't show you everything because it's too long, but the book is really, really pretty. Um just, just, there's a lot of pages left, so I'll show you like one more. There's, there's uh, the Blitzball team's logos and there's weapons, scenery, seen from Final Fantasy X2. I love that scene, it's really nice. So yeah, that's that's it anyway. Um, I, was looking for, I was looking forward to this game because so it was like released. I can't remember when it, they said they were, it was in the middle of producing it anyway, but um, this was like two years ago, I think. I think so. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I was really looking forward to it. So I was in this morning, and I think I was the only person there who was the first to buy it. So I was like, "Give me my fucking limited edition, please!" And he's just like laughing at me. And it paid off for ages. So, so I'm gonna put it on now in a minute, and I might uh, do a playthrough of it once I get the programs. The way, the, I need a proper mic and I need a um, the program to actually run the uh, the games up to my PC. And uh, yeah, I want to do it for like a while. So maybe who knows? So yeah, that's it. I will post this here on YouTube and I'll post some on Tumblr. I took pictures already, but I'll put some screenshots of the actual game onto my Tumblr account and you can have a look at that while and I'll let you know when I start doing walkthroughs and everything. Um, and sorry if I can't really understand me, I'm getting a bit of a cold so and it's early enough for me to be up and a bit I didn't really sleep last night. <clears throat> so anyway, um, for you who have the game, I hope you really enjoy it and it looks so pretty. I was oh I was so emotional going to get it today because it's just one of the games that it's just one of my favourite Final Fantasy games apart from Seven. Seven is a classic. Seven everyone loves Seven. My favourites would be Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten, Ten, Two, and Thirteen, but Ten and Seven are my favourites and then eight. Seven, eight. Seven, eight and ten. Pretty much. Um so yeah, I'll do screenshots and comment about 
the changes, what I think about the changes, and yeah, so hope you understood me, and I hope you liked uh, this, so, and this, <laughs> I love, I love cosplaying, so, I haven't cosplayed her in a while, so that's, that's it, I've got it for 40, 45 euro for a limited edition, and it's, that's really cheap for two games and a limited edition, that's really good. I'm so happy with it. It's gonna be so awesome. And uh, that's it. There is also another thing. There's also a Rooster Teeth Achievement Hunter meetup in Dublin City tomorrow uh, for the whole day. It's three hours to get in. It's in the venue on Wexford Street in Dublin. So if any Irish people are fans, I hope to see you there. We can, if you're fans of the game, we can talk about the game and whatever. So um, yeah. So have a good day, and I'll. Talk to you later.